Hi, I'm Kevin, a speech language pathologist here at Super Duper Publications, and this is the Weber Hear Builder Following Directions Computerized Screener. It's designed for children ages four to nine. Now with this, once we open the case, you'll notice that the screener includes an instruction booklet as well as the CD-ROM. We simply take the CD-ROM out and place it into our computer. And this screener will probably take around 15 to 20 minutes to administer. It includes 58 items that helps identify students who have difficulty following directions and or understanding basic concepts. Now in the instruction booklet, it's going to have all the pertinent information as far as how this system works, as well as those basic concepts that we mentioned before. They're all going to be listed right here on page 16 of the instruction manual. Now you can also use this not only as a, a screener to identify those students that have difficulty following directions, but you can also use it to monitor the progress of those students that are currently receiving response to intervention services, and or you can use this to monitor the progress for those students who are using the Hear Builder Following Directions software. With this screener, we'll simply enter the student's name, select the subtest that we want to administer, and then click Start Testing. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those features now. Welcome to the Hear Builder Following Directions screener from SuperDuper Publications. Now from our home screen, to learn more information about the screener and to learn more uh, details about each subtest, we can click the View Tutorial button and that's going to provide us with that additional information. So when we're ready to start the assessment, we can select a student's name on the left hand side. So once we select our student that we're going to do the assessment and the screening with, this will default to have each subtest assessed. With this, we can also take away different subtests if we have a shortened time that we're going to do this screener or if the student has difficulty focusing his attention to the task at hand. So for instance, let's take a look at some of the examples from the basic directions subtest. Once we have that indicated to pretest, we'll simply click start testing. Now each of these assessments also comes with instructions so the student knows exactly what's expected of them and how to respond during each subtest. Listen carefully and follow the directions by clicking on the pictures. Be careful, once you click on a picture, you cannot change your answer. When you finish, click on the green enter button to hear the next direction. Okay. Are you ready to follow the first direction? Here it is. Click on the cat. Click on the star. Click on the green tree. So those are a few examples of the basic directions. So let's go back to the home screen. And now let's take a look at some examples from the sequential directions subtest. First, click on the tree. Next, click on the fork. First, click on the bed. Next, click on the bird. And finally, click on the fish. So those are some examples from the sequential direction subtest. Now we will go back to the home screen. And now let's look at some examples from the quantitative and spatial subtest. Click on two apples. Click on both of the beds. Click on all of the trees. So those are a few examples from the quantitative and spatial subtest. Now we'll go back to the home screen and let's take a look at a few examples from the temporal directions subtest. Click on a star before you click on a fish. Click on a cat after you click on an apple. 
Before you click on a star, click on a fork. So those are some examples from the temporal direction subtest. We can go back to the home screen. And now let's take a look at a few examples from the conditional direction subtest. If a fish is in the box, click on the circle. If not, click on the square. If a red bird is in the box, click on the square. If not, click on the circle. If a fork and a cat are in the box, click on the square. If not, click on the circle. And those are just a few items from the conditional directions subtest. So we can go back to our home screen. Now after a student has completed the assessment, whether it's a pretest or a post-test, we want to take a look at those results. To do this, we'll click on a student, and then in this main menu, we'll have the pretest column and the post-test column that will indicate when those subtests were completed. To show the results, we simply click the Show the Results button, and this will provide us with a graph of each of our responses. Now you'll notice at the bottom, in blue, we have all of our percentages that are in a box form. The blue is going to indicate correct responses for the pretest, and the orange is going to indicate the correct responses from the post-test. You also, to the far right, you'll notice we have a percentage that's correct for all five subtests. Now, if you look at the tabs on the right side of the screen, we have the graph tab highlighted right now. We can also click the pre-test tab, and this will provide us with all of the answers in red that were the incorrect responses of the items during that pre-test. For the post-test, we simply click post tab, and this will indicate in orange the text for the items that were missed during the post-test. And to compare our pre-test performance and our post-test performance, we'll simply click the pre and post tab, and then this will actually put it all on one screen so that we can see the improvement from the pretest to the post test. And of course, if we want to see all of the responses, we can simply click the show all button. This will have the items on the pretest that were missed in red, the items that were missed on the post test indicated in orange text, and then of course, all of the correct items are listed there with the black text. Now if we go back and click on the graph form that has our percentages on here, remember this is the percentages for one student and their performance. If we want to compare an entire class and how they perform together, we can down in the bottom left click save to a spreadsheet and then you can create your own Excel spreadsheet with this information for those comparisons with the entire class. And don't forget, in the bottom right hand corner, you can print the report so that you have a physical copy for your own documentation of each student's performance. So that's a quick look at the Weber Here Builder Following Directions Computerized Screener. Again, a quick and easy way to help us identify those students who have difficulty following directions and understanding those basic concepts. To learn more about this product, please visit our website herebuilder.com where you can learn more about the screener as well as our full line of herebuilder software and also please visit our website superduperinc.com and even check out our Facebook page where you can share your thoughts and ideas on how you could use this screener with your students.